Good morning, everyone. This music just puts you in a good mood. You <laughs> smile when you hear it. It does, it does. <laughs> because it is time to go to the place where you have smiles as soon as you walk in because of all the cool animals. We're talking about the Blank Park Zoo, and we have Shalini Babu from the Blank Park <laughs> Zoo joining us in studio right now. And you have one of the most prestigious jobs <laughs> at the Blank Park Zoo because you get to keep an eye on its star mm -hmm. right now. Tell everybody what you do. Yeah, I'm a rhino keeper at Blank Park Zoo, so I get to work with our amazing four rhinos. And as everyone knows, we have our new addition to the family, Kamara, and she's doing absolutely amazing out there. She's still with mom, um, and now guests can see her during the day, and she also has outside access. So if you don't see her inside, she's probably outside sunbathing or in the mud. She loves mud, and it's amazing <laughs> to see because she's being a rhino. And, and that's the <laughs> one thing we have to let people know is having animals dirty like this, having rhinos dirty like this and full of mud, oh, yes. that's good for them, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So even in the wild, they're going to be rolling around in mud to make sure they're kind of using it as a skin uh, protectant with the sun and the insects as well. So for us to see her just wallowing in the mud on her own is just great news for us and amazing to see. <laughs> so you, you obviously specialize in the rhinos. Have you been working with rhinos for several years then? Um, I've been here for about four years. Okay. Yeah, so our team gets to take care of rhinos, giraffes, camels, and all the antelopes in Africa. Okay, yeah. nice. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have some questions answered about mm -hmm. Kamara. Uh, yes. First of all, I was driving along 14th Street mm -hmm. right before I got Everything's to I-80 so yesterday. I was heading uh, I was heading south on 14th Street, and I saw a Kamara billboard mm -hmm. that was up there, which was kind of cool, and she looked huge. Oh, yeah. So when she was born, about 90 pounds, and now to date, she's a little over 300 pounds. 300. Yeah. If you look at so her there, she growing. looks like she's kind of got a little coat of mud on her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing amazing. She's growing like a little tank, just like Mom. Yeah, she's freaking adorable. <laughs> now, now, if she didn't roll in the mud like that, would you guys have to apply mud to, to we her We would. Yeah, yeah, we would. But it seems like all the babies love running around the mud. You know, um, Tumani was born in the winter time, so we brought the mud to her because she didn't have that outside access. Right. And it was just instinct. She just went. She looked at it. She was like, I need to get in there. And then she started rolling <laughs> around. Right so you, <laughs> you've been able to experience both of these rhinos mm -hmm. from birth. Oh, yes. And talk about how they're different, maybe, in their personality. Personalities. Oh, and yeah. So, um, Kamara would always come up to us, like, even from like day one or two, she'd be like, oh, you know, like, hi, people. And she would come in and be laying down and stuff. I think Tamani for a little bit, she kind of hung out a little closer to mom. Kamara from the get go was like a little more brave and she'd kind of like, you know, move away and stuff. But throughout the whole process, to, um, Ayana's just been a great mom. You know, she's protected when she needs to be, but she trusts all the keepers. So when she sees us messing with baby or being around the baby, she's like, I'm glad the babysitters are here because I need a little I break. I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> I need a break just like us, my <laughs> other yeah. moms. And I want to ask you about that because mm -hmm. you can see, in, you can, you're eye to eye with these animals. Mm -hmm. And can you tell when, when they're calm and, and when they're relaxed around other people? And Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a kind of like the sing um, features. You know, when they're alert, the ears go up, the eyes kind of get widened. Sometimes the tail will go up. They'll stiffen up. You could tell, you know, if they hear outside noises or something's going on. So there's little things that we're going to be paying attention to. And then when they're relaxed, you know, just like us, um, you know, they're going to be pretty calm and near the baby or she'll walk away and she'll be fine. She won't be looking and making sure it's around or anything like that. And does pretty good with all of the crowds that come mm -hmm. by. To yeah, so we did like a slow intro. We had little people, you know, a few people come through to see how mom will react. And so we kind of like built that up to now where all the public can see. And Kamara loves the attention. And her and Tamani share that too. They love the spotlight. They love being the center of attention. So as soon as they see people, you know, they'll put on a little show for you. <laughs> so she, you can see her now through all um, zoo hours. Because um, yeah. there's still a special window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, I would recommend in the mornings, we call them the Zumbies because like she will be running back and forth throughout the stall inside no and way. outside yeah she's very active in the morning these guys like to take their naps throughout the afternoons too and they'll probably be more outside so I think the best glimpse of her would be in the mornings to come through okay. yeah we talked about mom mm -hmm. we talked about uh, Tumani we talked about Kamara what about dad how's uh, Keanu doing Keanu is always amazing too yeah he's being a great dad um, 
he has a little of interaction now um, when now that she is outside there is like a little barrier where um, Tamani and Keanu could both see but just like with Tamani Keanu has been just so gentle and just kind of watches he doesn't try to um, show any sort of aggression or get to her or anything like that. Yeah, he's just been a great dad. All right, now mm -hmm. later on tonight, uh, we are looking forward to we another. We'll have to go because we were there last week and we mm -hmm. did. I didn't go over and mm -hmm. see the rhinos, so tonight we'll have to go over. We'll go on over there. They're a little You'll less active at night, but mm -hmm. I usually walk over every day just for a second, just to peek in real quick, <laughs> and then I come back out again. But uh, we'll go over tonight and check that out. But the Zubru is happening. We yes. are going to be able to see uh, the rhinos tonight, right? Oh yeah, in their full glory. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, so tell us <laughs> what's going on with Zubru. Later yeah, on. so Zubru happens. Every Wednesday, it's an amazing event because it's 21 and over. So, you know, it's a place for adults to have some fun. And it's 5.30 to about 8.30. Mm -hmm. There's always a band. We try to get a local band in. Um, and, and there's string I specials. I say tonight is the snacks. I just yes. want to throw that in there. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead and tell yeah. what. Um, and then there's going to be a few keeper chats. The whole zoo is open, or more or less the whole zoo is open. So you can walk around, um, see the animals. They only co go in at 8 o'clock, which is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then the band will be at the Zuplex. So if you guys have any questions, you know, just let staff know about that. Yep. Yeah, it's I last week because I hadn't been to Zubru for a while. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's just such a different vibe when you're there after hours. Yes, yeah. And, you know, usually we go with our kids and it's a little more distract, you know, there's mm -hmm. so it just is a cool experience to be able to go. I mean, that's a great opportunity. You give people to go in there and, you know, have uh, be able to see all the animals. It's just a different it has a different experience. Mm -hmm. And we like experienced that. something that we didn't expect either. Uh, we were over at the sea lion area mm -hmm. and we were standing there. Michelle and I were talking a little bit and we did a live hit on local five a mm -hmm. live shot on local five and next thing you know the sea lions and the seal were right behind they were us. right behind oh, yeah. and I hadn't, seen them, I hadn't mm -hmm. seen them come up that close and they said that's pretty common the mm -hmm. lions were mm -hmm. all i mean everything thing. was just oh, really yeah. alive it's pretty amazing because if you hang out there in the evening the seals and sea lions will put on their own little demo for you you know because they like to have fun and they're like swimming around and just enjoying it they're just used to us being there too, which is nice, and it's a little more calming environment. Like us zookeepers work there all day, but then we're always like, so we're going to Zoo Brew tonight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we walk around different. too. Yeah. But you really enjoy yourself. Oh, you? yes, we do. Yeah. 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 So, but again, uh, Kamara is growing mm -hmm. and growing very, very fast, and oh, you're yeah. keeping an eye on her, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, that is awesome. So people want more information about Blank Park Zoo, there is a website they can go to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. of course, you mm -hmm. all know what the Blank Park Zoo website is. There it is. Uh, check them out online, blankparkzoo.com. doesn't get much easier than that. And follow along on social media as well. We always take tons of pictures. Right. Um, Got great show. camps going mm -hmm. on right now out there. Lots of fun things over the mm -hmm. summer. So yeah. you'll find out all that information And if you online. see us in the Rhino Barn, ask us questions because we love talking about them. No, you talked yeah. about the, the, the keeper chats uh, that mm -hmm. go off throughout Zoo Brew. Uh, are you scheduled for a keeper chat? anytime soon? Um, I think we will be. It okay. kind of just depends on the area. Okay. Um, so maybe not tonight, but but we'll at find some out point. when it is. So you yes. have a chance to come in and ask, uh, you know, all about the rhinos and get all the details that you need. Yeah, Thank definitely. you so much for coming in. Yeah, Appreciate I love being you. here. We'll see you later Thank on you. tonight. Look for you tonight. All right, <laughs> Zoo Brew tonight at Blank Park Zoo. Five thirty is when they kick open the doors and start having fun. We're